Microsoft Publisher allows you to choose the dimensions of the type of document that you want to work with. By default, when you open up Microsoft Publisher, you're going to see it assumes you want to work with a blank 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. But if we move over a couple of icons, you're going to see something that says more blank page sizes. And when we click on that, you're going to see a number of different pre-created page sizes that you can choose from. But for this example, we want to work with a poster size, so we want a little bit bigger. You will see some custom ones that I already created, and over here in the custom area where it says create new page size, you can actually set the dimensions of the size poster that you want. But if you scroll down a little bit, where it says posters and the publication types, you can also find some pre-created blank page sizes to choose from. Each school has a very large printer known as a plotter printer, which has a 42-inch roll of paper. So you would have to stick with the dimensions less than 42 inches if you wanted to be able to print it on a full-size poster within the schools. So what we're going to do for an example on this one is I'm going to choose 22 by 34 poster, and I'm going to click on it. And after you click on it, it will just show you a little preview of it over here, which doesn't really tell us much. So we're going to scroll down to where it says Create, and when we click Create, we get our piece of paper. Now right now it kind of still looks like an 8.5 by 11, but if you go up to the top where the ruler is in inches, you'll see this paper starts at 0 and goes to 22, and up here it starts at 0, and it goes to 34, which you can see over here on the right. If you needed to adjust the page sizes after you've already created it and you want to make it smaller, you want to make it larger, you can click over here at the top tab where it says Page Design. And under Page Design where it says Size, you can adjust the page size. You could choose one of the custom ones that I've created. You could, again, choose a different page size. Or you could create a new page size and physically type in the dimensions of the poster that you want. So let's say we wanted this to be a little bit smaller and we choose a 30 poster, 22 inches by 30 inches and we click OK and that will adjust the page sizes. Now right now we don't have any content on this but as we do begin adding content what you might want to keep in mind is under the view tab in the ribbon interface Right now we're viewing this poster at 17%. As you begin to add text and clip art and everything to your poster, you may need to zoom in and zoom out. Uh, particularly when you're adding text, it can be a little hard to see if you're that far zoomed out. So you may need to click on 50% and then use the scroll bar to navigate around your poster so you can see exactly what it is you're going to be placing on the screen. In the following tutorials, we are going to start putting some content on the posters, and I'm going to show you how to manipulate some of the text. We're going to introduce you to word art, and we're also going to introduce you how to manipulate clip art to wash it out, to put it behind text, to make a very interesting looking poster.